Hi, Melissa. Hello, everyone. Welcome to uh, OFC 2024. I'm Kevin Yao from Micros Networks, a member of APC. So, uh, as we all know, you know, AI clusters demands uh, higher bandwidth density, lower power consumption, as well as you know, the lower uh, latency. So today, I'm so pleasure to introduce this box, the first industry 51T CPU box. It's co-developed by uh, Micros and the Broadcom. And then, as you can see here. It's up and running fully function and it can be ready for end customers. So this run the brick taken, you know, technology incorporates a piece of optical engines, silicon photonics based optical engines, alongside with the uh, Broadcom GH5, Compact 5, Switch AC. So the box stands out due to its uh, power saving, remarkable 70% of power saving in terms of uh, optical interconnect. So uh, the system actually, uh, because you know, uh, due, due to you know, the increase the speed of service, so the power consumption becomes a bigger challenge for the system design. So the CPO co-package actually is the right solution to, I mean, reduce the power, redesign the box with the optics to en enable a more efficient, power efficient, uh, uh, I mean, network device for the future like open networks. And a few highlights for the box. The core is the Broadcom GH5 switch silicon, uh, incorporated with the uh, eight, eight piece 6.4T optical engine, silicon photonics. And uh, from the panel, you can see it can provide 128 cores, 400 GFR4. And by using the uh, traditional duplex, uh, LC connectors. And the full IU box actually utilize, I mean, more uh, power efficient L cooling kind of technology, but as well as, you know, we can also utilize the liquid cooling. I mean, basically, it's a cold plate liquid cooling. And the, it, the system also supports, also support the 16 piece RM modules, which is, you know, field replaceable. It's easier for, you know, the system box maintenance in case there's any laser failures. And then last but not least, as I pointed out earlier, the most critical thing is about the power saving. A 70% uh, optical interconnect power saving is a critical for the open networks. So that's all the highlights. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to Melissa, to myself. Thanks very much. Thank you, Kevin. You can see the excitement around this box. It's quite amazing.